In this tutorial in Cyberlink Power Director, I'd like to give you some tips that you might consider when you're trying to tell a story using a primary track of video and a secondary track. Now, if you filmed all this at the same time, you can use the multicam editing, and we have a tutorial about that. But I'm going to use a situation where I have sequential video. I have a parade that I filmed, and I like to intersperse the one segment with the other that weren't filmed at the same time. What are some ways in which you can make that, that planning and that execution work well? Let me give you a couple tips I find helpful. I'm going to take uh, my first clip here of the fire engine, and I'll drag it down onto track number one. And then I'm going to take the second clip I did on the same parade at a different time and put that on track number two. Now what I'd like to do in this particular case is I'm going to see what I can do to go ahead and split these. I'm going to highlight both tracks and the first thing I'm going to do is right click and then I will unlink video and audio because there may be a time when I want to use the video from track one but the audio from track number two. And then what I'm going to do just for the sake of our lesson here is I'm going to go ahead and just arbitrarily i cut this up into a bunch of segments. And we'll just split it using the Control T command several times so you can see a couple things we're going to try to do here. The other thing I would do in this kind of situation is I would want to label my tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is instead of calling this video track one, I'll call this my primary story. And then I'm going to go into the second video. I could also use primary audio below for the audio track. Let's call this uh, secondary storyline. And I can, uh, for this, this helps me quite a bit. So the other thing I'd like to do is I'm going to go down to track three and I'm going to create what I'm going to call a garbage track for now. Garbage video and garbage audio. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to assume that there are going to be some times in my project where I want to use the video from one and the audio from another. Now the problem we often run into is if I want to have this video running and this, uh, vi this video not, do I might have to turn off the entire track, but that's not helpful because I don't want the entire track turned off, I just want this turned off. The other option I could take is simply delete this so this would not override this video. But maybe I decide I might want to use it later. An easier way to do that is to create a garbage track. What I'm going to do is uncheck the box so this enable disable the track, both for the video, garbage video, and garbage audio. Now in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the this particular video track drag it down here. I still have it if I decide I want to use it, uh, but now it won't show. So when I go ahead and play, I'm going to see the fire engine. The other problem I have here is I have conflicting audio. Now audio always mixes on tracks, so I will have this sound on top of this sound, which will be a cacophony, and that's not what I want. I have two options. I can right click on an audio track, and then I can choose the mute clip. Now you, when you do that, you still have the waveform, but the volume line has disappeared. Uh, one thing that I find less confusing than that is just to take, go ahead and take the, uh, the audio. Let's say this is the audio I don't want in this segment and drag it down to a garbage audio track. And now I have video from track number one, but audio from track number two. And I'm going along and I want to continue, but now I want to flip to uh, this video and its original audio. So I'll take this one and drag it down, and this guy as well. And uh, so I can visually see, for me, a little clearer what I have, what I've mixed uh, here. So it's now that I have a garbage track. And so that gives me a way in which I can continue to tell my story in a way that makes sense. If I have a different audio I want to add on top of uh, the third segment here, let's say we're doing the, the fire engine, and let's go back and switch to this uh, audio. 
and I'll, so I'll, I'll drag this one to the garbage track and this video here need to straighten them out and now I want the audio of a car crash on it well I've got another audio track down here that's live and now I will have this sound mixed with this sound but I will have the video from track number one so I think you begin to see a little bit about the, the, the process of how we can do that. You may find some other techniques more helpful. I'd like to learn what you use uh, to do that when you're mixing tracks. But for, visually for me, I find this helpful uh, to make sure I label my tracks, um, have a garbage track if I need, which I can delete anytime I want, and then go ahead and continue to go uh, segment by segment through the project until you get the final result that you're looking for. Mm -hmm.